just before this gets going, know that I'm an idiot and recorded more than half of this session without any of my voice coming through on the recording. I'm a moron and I will try my hardest not to let it happen again. I'd found a spot near a fishing village where I wanted to build my base. The bonus to me of being close to a fishing village was the fact that it had a safe recycler. So I had to run around as much land and water as I could, hit as many barrels as I could, and got as much wood as I could to get an effective start. Having gotten a base down and feeling pretty secure where I was, I figured I'd go and see how powerful farming the ocean could actually be. So I grabbed some scrap, went to the fishing village, got some gear and got cracking. Having finished my first proper run through the ocean, I returned to the recycle at the fishing village absolutely stacked. I'd managed to find a ton of hatchets and pickaxes and crossbows, all the stuff that you need to like get yourself going in early game rust. And by the time I left that recycler, I had more than 370 scrap on me from my first sort of 20 to 25 minutes farm in the ocean. Didn't seem like a bad start whatsoever. Now, although I'd set myself this sort of challenge, I suppose, of like living predominantly off the ocean, there's certain things that you just can't get there. Things like stone and key cards. So I grabbed some tools, headed towards Outpost and figured I could farm some scrap and wood on the way, trade that for some stone and make all the base upgrades that I needed to make. I'd mashed my way through quite a few nodes on the way home as well, so I figured now was as good a time as any to try and get some furnaces down and get everything cooking.
I also figured, seeing as the base was getting more and more loot in it now, I needed some actual legitimate weapons. So I tech treed my way down to the pump shotgun and the slug, seeing as these are like the current meta, and figured that I would be a little bit more capable of defending myself with these than I would be with just a crossbow. I made a couple more runs into the ocean, hit a few more sunken ships and some barrels, and figured that now I was becoming quite confident with the situation that I was in, it might be time to hit some monuments, maybe an oil rig or an underwater labs. But in order to hit labs or oil rig, you need key cards, green, blue and red, and there's nowhere to get them from on the ocean. So while back at base, I had a look at the map and realized that the only place I could get some would be at an abandoned supermarket at the bottom left of the map, which was not a huge trek but it was a considerable distance. So I figured I'd drive the boat down to the large fishing village next to it, run over, grab the key cards, and then I'll be good to hit whichever monuments I wanted. So the supermarket run had been a success. I'd got the green card, I got a few other bits of loot that I'd recycled on the way back, and I felt like I was ready to start hitting some monuments. So when I got back to the base, I researched down to the med syringe to make sure that I could keep myself in one piece, and then headed down to the underwater labs to try and take this run of good loot to the next level. But as I got out the pool, it became obvious to me that someone had either just been here or was still here. I had a look through as much of the CCTV cameras as I could, and from where I was sat, it looked pretty clear. I could hear people walking around, but I assumed that they were just scientists. I didn't know it at the time though. I was very, very wrong. Now you don't win them all, I know that, and I've been on a pretty good run up to now, so I wasn't too sour about what had happened down at labs. So I commandeered a rib, I got a bunch of gear again, and I thought I'd go over to the small oil rig and see if I could make some plays over there. 
little did I know though that what happened at labs was just a taste of what was to come. Now, if you've ever played Rust, I will bet you one million pounds that you have had a session that has gone exactly like this. The great start, the finding of the loot, that somehow easily get into a point where you can craft guns. And then all of a sudden, boom, your luck changes and you're on a losing streak. I've had more sessions like this than I care to remember. And one way to always make yourself feel a little bit better is to get a raid done and there was a little base on the other side of the fishing village that I went to check out and figured that seeing as I had a couple of satchels lying spare, it'd be rude not to throw them onto the front door and just to see what happens, you know? Now, unfortunately, this base had more than one door on it, but on further inspection, I saw that round the back, there was one wall that was wood and all the rest were stone. So I figured why not go and get some hatchets and some pickaxes and some tools and just eco raid our way in. What do we really have to lose? There have been some parts of this session so far that have been a little bit rough. But I've got to be honest, getting all this gear out of that base successfully and getting it into my base without any issues felt like a huge win. And wanting to maintain that good momentum, I decided that now would be the time to make some basic base upgrades, go and get something to eat, think about what I'd done and come back stronger. It was also during this break that I'd realised that through the whole first half, I hadn't recorded any of my own voice. Oh god, have I just... Okay, I think I've just recorded all of that with none of my voice on, which is arguably the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. What an idiot. The first priority for me after getting back was to get back down to that supermarket and get another green card. That was going to be the key to progressing through monuments in the way that I wanted to. As soon as I got that, I headed to Satellite Dish as it was close to my base, did the puzzle there to grab the blue card, and that gave me the options of going back to Underwater Labs or Royal Rig to try and make some plays for some more loot. I tech treed my way down to SAR and Hollow Sight and figured that this would be a more effective way of trying to take a rig or an Underwater Labs as opposed to like the Pumpy and the Slug, which I'm not the best with if we're all honest. And as soon as night time was done, I jumped back in my boat and made a beeline to the rig 
to try and make up for my earlier mistakes. This is why I've always preferred going top down on rig. It's so less, so much easier not to get cornered, you know? Like you can just hold the helipad on the stairs, just pick them off as they keep coming up, but this way, like there's no way I'm gonna make this. pressed every wrong button I could have possibly pressed right then. That was unbelievable. Even by my standards, that was unbelievable. bandages this is not good this is not a good position to be in the question do I try with no meds almost no health no strength of any kind to take on the heavies or do I just cut and run I've got to take them on and I? I've got to at least try right here we go this is not gonna go well I can feel it already like in my brain in my stomach. I can feel that this is going to be an absolute fucking disaster. But here we go, nonetheless. I said it'd go badly. I said it'd go terribly. Like, you can't blame me for telling the truth. Right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because I struggled enough getting up the first time with regular scientists and now I've got to try and fight my way up with fucking heavies, which is like an unbelievable nightmare just waiting to happen. Right, what are we looking at? Is that a regular scientist down the bottom? Or is that a heavy? This is a weird thing to wish for, but I kind of want it to be a heavy, and I think it is. It's not. They're regulars. They've all respawned. Oh, you got to be kidding me.
Right, come on. Sensible. Step by step. Oh, they're running. Are they coming down here? Fucking heavy still. Fucking heavy here still. What? Since when is that a thing? Fucking hell. So we've got to take out the regulars and the heavies. Are you kidding me, bruv? Well, this has just turned into an impossible task. Well, there they are, can't stand. I didn't know you could have a combination of regulars and heavies. That almost, almost seems unfair. <laughs> Fuck off. And now I've run out of ammo. Fuck, of course there's a heavy left. Seemed like the sensible thing to do. Oh shit! is the most, officially, the most scuffed oil run of all time, I think. Has anyone ever done it worse than this? I can't believe there's heavies left, though. I must have gotten them all by now. No. Nope. <laughs> Shit! Fucking M2. Yeah, I'm dead, mate. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You fucking twat. But hopefully, touch wood, this is going to be the last time. Mr. Heavy seems to have gone back up as well. Or not. What the fuck? Where is he? That's ridiculous. He's just waiting there, camping, waiting for me. Well, that was a terrible start. Oh, come on! Did you know what? Did, I fucking hate this game. Honestly. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, I'm, I'm done for today. I need to grind some stuff up for upkeep. And then I'm done. I can't keep doing this, man. It's soul destroying. Um, what can I grind up for frags? This game is breaking me today. I've played terribly and I'm very upset about it. <laughs>